Okay, hi class. Uh, I'm coming to you from UC Berkeley today, and I'm here to help you guys with a few of your homework problems. This one here is page 104, number 4, and the goal of this problem is to find the values of C in the matrix so that the matrix is singular. But we know that singular is equivalent to the determinant being zero. So the goal of the problem is to calculate determinant of A and uh, set it equal to zero and then find out what values of C would make that true. So while I'm doing this, uh, what I want to do first is I want to create a column of zeros or a row of zeros, but I'm going to make a column of zeros here. Uh, this guy's going to be zero and this guy's going to be zero and that'll make my computation of determinant much more simple. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to have to do two row operations. I'm going to do negative row 1 plus row 2, and negative row 1 plus row 3. And the result is that I get a 1, a 1, a 1. These are zeros. Okay, negative 1 plus 9 is 8. Negative 1 plus C is C minus 1. Negative 1 plus C is C minus 1. Negative 1 plus 3 is 2. So now I've got a column of zeros. So when I compute my determinant, I'm going to expand along this first column because it has the most zeros. OK, so it's 1, that's this 1, times the determinant of what I have left over when I remove that row and that column. It's this block right here. So there's an 8, a C minus 1, uh, a C minus 1 and a 2. So what's that? That's 16 minus C minus 1 squared. So uh, simplifying this, it's 16 minus C squared minus 2C plus 1. Hmm which equals 16 minus, let me uh, simplify it, uh, it's negative c squared, then there's plus 2c, then there's a minus 1 and a positive 16, so that makes plus 15, and we're setting that equal to 0. Okay. Now, uh, typically when we have this, we usually like to factor things that have a positive c squared or positive x squared there. So let's, let's bring everything over to the other side. So I have c squared plus 2c minus 15 equals 0. This is a minus 2c. Okay. I'm subtracting everything over. So this becomes positive, this becomes negative, this becomes negative. When I factor this, it's c minus 5 c plus 3 equals 0, so c equals 5, and c equals negative 3. Okay, that's the solution for that problem.